Welcome to Bill Dance Saltwater. Great fun fishing that anyone can do. Yes, you can do this. Tarpon. That's all you gotta say to get many fishermen so excited they can't sleep. The thrill of a tarpon jumping up out of the water is second to none and almost more exciting than landing one. Today, Bill's headed back down to Florida's Space Coast to try his luck at hooking up and fighting these majestic fish. And his good buddy, Captain Peter Deeks, knows exactly where to find them too. Not necessarily the big hundred pounders, but the fun-sized tarpon that won't work you to death and are more fun to catch than eating ice cream and cake. The Indian River offers so much to this area of Florida. And it's not just the fish in the world class. This area offers great beaches, numerous outdoor activities to do, like canoeing, paddle boarding, and don't forget about the shopping and dining options this area is known for. And if you really want an out of this world experience, then visiting the Cape Canaveral area is where you need to take off to. But on this trip, it's all about the fishing for Bill Dance. And Captain Peter agrees. In Peter's words, it's a fisherman's dream to fish this section of the Indian River near Palm Bay, catching 10 to 20 pound baby tarpon on light tackle. In fact, Peter will tell you that this area is one of the most diverse and unique estuaries in the world. And most of the world record speckled trout have come from these waters too. And Bill won't disagree since he's caught some of his biggest trout, redfish and snook fishing right here alongside Peter. But it's the mighty tarpon the guys are after today. And in Bill's opinion, it takes the best of the best to catch these fish. The best technique, the best tackle, the best guide, and the best location to catch them. And today, they're going to put all these things to the test as they hit the small waters for the high-flying, line-stripping Silver Kings. Like Bill said, getting three to seven jumps out of each fish is simply magnificent. Let's watch. You ain't got it. Go, I think. Yeah, baby! Woohoo! Can't catch him. He's coming up. Look at that! <laughs> Oh, you see that, how that graphic jumps. <laughs> That's beautiful. We'll catch you line of hunting. That makes me stand up. Someone's got to make it work. Thought he was going under the trolling mode. Okay, hey, Lightning drag us a little bit. He's got a few more big jumps in him, I think. That is, it, that is more fun than anything. Ha <laughs> ha, right on! I think I got super high on those first jumps. You see that? That was so cool. <laughs> oh, I jumped. Woo! He don't know what he wants to do. Right. I'm gonna bring him in to you. Is that not fun? Is that not fun? <laughs> Look at that shiny, it's like just silver boy. Beautiful. Yeah, get him back in. How big is that fish? Uh, it feels like he's probably between 10 and 15 pounds. About 15? Yeah. I fish all day for just for that. Just that one. The action, the jump, the fight. Goodness gracious. It's super that exciting. Was a, hey, hey, that was a great fight. It was. I mean, it was that fantastic. Was a, hey, that was a great fight. And so he jumped so high and it's so exciting and they, they got strength at oh, that yeah, size. the strength. I thought he was out there. It's a small And party. he was right over here. <laughs> then I thought he was over here and he was over there. <laughs> It's a small tarpon, but it's a big fish. Oh, you bet it's a big fish. It's a monster fish on this stuff. Today's show is sponsored in part by 
Bass Pro Shops, your adventure starts here. Quantum Rods and Reels. And Mercury Marine. Go boldly. Today's conditions log is brought to you in part by LureLock. Their TechLogic technology locks your terminal tackles safely into place. 100% made in America. LureLock, revolutionizing the way you fish. Fixing a jump, I got a feeling. They like to do this. There you know. he is. <laughs> yeah. Well, I like to see that. That's awesome. I love it. Coming up. Bow. Yeah, baby. Don't you like that? Bill, he is kicking your butt. Look at him out there. I know it. Hurry up and get the release on that. It's my turn. It's fish all over. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you what, I love doing this right here. This is so much fun. He got another jump in him. Now oh, here he comes. Mouth's open for you. Book's right in the top of his mouth. Look at that boy catch that fish right there. <laughs> Find him up there, look. Oh man, how big is that one? He's nice, probably 15 pounds, maybe a little bigger. You sweet little thing, <laughs> what is that? Here, show that, show that little thread fin on his dorsal fin. That thread fin, isn't that cool? That's my favorite thing. Oh, right here. Yeah, isn't that so cool on these fish? Yeah, that long little. Yeah, yeah. Silver, shiny fish. Boy, they're pretty. They're gorgeous. Yeah, there's, there's this glow. Woo you know what I'm patting you? I'm cleaning all I'm cleaning all my hands. <laughs> oh, you're the man. Oh and I know what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> That's what Oh I like that. That is really special. That's a fun deal right there. <laughs> it is. It's as fun as it gets. That's a great, great fight too. Uh -huh. I mean it is really a good fight. It strips that line. Exciting. Light tackle. You know, you catch a 190, 110, 125 pound fish. Sure. The big tarpons. Right. Like further south, down in the Keys. Yes. Of course, you got a much heavier rod. Of course, you get that fight, mm -hmm. but you get just the same fight on this kind of equipment. Definitely. You know, a little 30 size uh, smoke quantum reel. Yep. It's light as a feather. A little bitty, well balanced uh, smoke rod. Mm -hmm. Super fun. Oh, it's perfect. Absolutely. And you hooked him perfect right in the tip. Now, what of is that? What size? That's a Kamikatsu octopus hook, and that's a two odd. That's a two odd. Yeah. Get it, baby! Oh, God, I didn't even He's have a chance. Up. Oh. You're killing me. Man, I get nothing. <laughs> what are you calling about? And I get nothing. He's gonna go do some crazy stuff right here. Here he comes. Whoa! <laughs> oh, what a jump. <laughs> <laughs> He's barely hooked. <laughs> he gave, gave you a bath, didn't he? Oh, he got in there. No, he broke off in the trolling motor. It's exciting. <laughs> yeah. Woo! That's what it's all about. You can't really land them anyway. You can't eat them. No, I got, we, we got too good find out of it. <laughs> good job. That's okay. That's okay. I'll tell you what, I got three or four jumps out of it. Pow! Today's show was sponsored in part by 
Mako Boats, building legends for over 40 years. Gamakatsu, world's finest hooks. And Lurlock, turning the tackle world upside down. Today's equipment log is brought to you in part by Gamakatsu, because the fish of a lifetime only comes once in a lifetime. Today's show is sponsored in part by Stren, the standard of dependability since 1958. Garmin, fight your fish, not your fish finder. And Mystic Lubricants, lubrication domination. Hey Bill, hand me that hook. Alright. Are you hooking them through the tail of the mouth? Uh, we've been doing it both ways, but we're on that big school of fish right in front of the boat right now. So what I'm going to do is just hook them in the tail real lightly so that hook pops out easy when the tarpon bites him. Now why would you hook them through the tail versus the mouth? Well, when you put any tension on the line, it's going to make the bait fish swim away from you. Because when you pull, it pulls his tail closer to you. And that way you can swim that bait right to that school of tarpon. You can kind of control them like a dog on a leash. If you hook them in the mouth, when you pull on them, it pulls them towards you and goes away from the fish. So. Oh, we got it. Good tarpon, Bill. Okay, you ready? You got it. Ooh, yeah. Oh. Oh. It's <laughs> 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 every good soul. <laughs> that didn't take long. You see that fish greyhounding? That thing was, he was smoking, wasn't he? I know he was. <laughs> he was. He was moking it, brother. Look at him right there. Now, what do you say? How's the best way to fight these? Oh, you're fine. You're... <laughs> Take two deep breaths and exhale. <laughs> two deep breaths and exhale. Watch it. You find that braid works better for this type fishing versus monofilament? Oh, hands down. I love braid. I use braid pretty much for everything. Um, I do put a little bit longer of a piece of fluorocarbon leader on there so the fish don't see it. But as far as being able to tell when you get a bite, making longer casts, braid is amazing. Well, tarpon have a tremendous, uh, excellent eyesight, like a snook. Oh yeah, they count on those eyes for everything. Huge eyes, they can see so well. We said these tarpon feed, they look, they feed up, don't they? Always feed up, yep. Yeah, they're always, if they're on the, they'll always feed straight ahead or up. And so you want to figure out where the tarpon are at in the water column when you're fishing. So if the fish are up on the surface, your bait has to be above them. And if they're up there, you need a bait like a mullet or a little crab, something that's going to stay on the surface. Um, sometimes around bridges and areas where it's a little bit deeper and the current strong and the tarpon are down on the bottom, you can fish a bait down on the bottom. Um, but usually you're always fishing up on top because you look at their mouth. Their mouth is angled up for sucking up. Their eyes are always looking up. Um, so a tarpon is always a equal to or above feeder. In other words, instead of having an overbite, they have an underbite, so to speak. They have so a tremendous underbite. And that's what makes them so hard to hook and keep on the hook when they jump because it's just two like steel doors facing up. So they spit your hook so often. Man, that's such a good fish. That thing is my favorite size right there. I'm going to have you fight him and I'll land him. Is that cool with you? All right. Come on with him. All right. Him. Slide him up here to you, doctor. <laughs> I thought he was done. You don't want to hurt him, so you don't ever want to grab him when they're like super fired up. Wait a he doesn't like you. Look at you, he's back over here in the bushes. Look at it, jumped again. <laughs> Where are you up? I thought that was my fish. You're getting all the fight. <laughs> all right, here he is. Now get him. 
3D. Alright, he's good. That's a 25 plus pound fish right there. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. See those? Sure. The Bill Dance Question and Answer of the Week is brought to you by Mystic Lubricants and their complete line of JT4 Marine products. A full line of products for your full line of pursuits. Visit mysticlube.com today. Do you ever use your special edition Bill Dance rods? Absolutely. And you know, I was surprised that they turned out so well in both bait casting and spinning. Now, these rods are lightweight, strong, sensitive, well constructed with IM6 graphite. D ring guides and EVA handles. Now the reels for bait casting, they've got a great drag system and they cast so smoothly. Check them out at Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Today's show is sponsored in part by Millennium Marine, a new class of comfort. And Finnor, legendary tackle since 1933. Closed captioning is provided by the Build and Store. Check us out online. Today's product tip is brought to you by Garmin and their GPS map series sonar combos. With advanced sonar technology like Chirp and exclusive Panoptics all-seeing sonar, you'll spend less time finding your fish. Anglers looking for a way to make their smaller boats stay put in shallow water? Check out the PowerPole Heavy Duty Spike. The spike helps hold small boats exactly where you want to keep them. It also secures the bow of a bass boat that has power poles. Each spike comes with a nylon dock line and push grips to help you easily sink it into sand or mud. Need to stay steady in one spot? Spike that spot. You can fish there as long as you wish. Come be a part of Bill Dance Digital. Join us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. Follow us. What puts the number of tarpon in these little creeks, in these little inlets like that? Um, the juvenile or smaller sized tarpon, they're really attracted to fresh water. So they're fishing these little freshwater tributaries that lead out to the Indian River, uh, which is salt water. So you don't want to go way up into the fresh water, but right where it's real brackish, that's where most of the tarpon are. So the salinity factor is the key. It's the key, yeah. There's not much bait back here. I, you know, it doesn't make sense why the fish love it, but the, the smaller size tarpon, 50 pounds and less, they love that brackish water. So how long will they stay in this? Um, they're a tropical fish, so they don't like the cold. So we usually have them from April through maybe October, and when we start getting the cold fronts, then they'll migrate south. So they will go on back out in, in the river? They do. Some stick around, but then they usually die in the wintertime. You'll see a few dead here and there, but most of the fish move up and down the river, yes. So how much difference does the temperature play, say, from the river to the... Would you call this a creek? It's, it's pretty much a creek. There's, if you look on a map up and down the whole coast of Florida, there's all these freshwater creeks that, that lead out into the river. So there's a network of these creeks? Yeah, lots of them. And so they just pick up the currents they swim the river and pick up the currents that flow into the They do, and they the must river. be able to sense the salinity difference. They can probably, you know, smell the, the fresh water and, the, and it draws them right in. Same with bull sharks. Bull sharks love the, uh, the fresh water. Oh, they do? Yeah, it's pretty strange. It is. Starting to warm up and they're getting super fired up. Those jumps that they've been making, oh, I mean, yeah. like how far, he went at least 20 feet in the air. I mean, it was just like, that was so cool. Like a marlin. He did, too. Well, he does it, doesn't he? There he's going to the fire post. Oh boy, he just, you just got him up and down. I'm good. You are good. He's fighting like he's 100 pounds. He's probably another 15 pounds, maybe? 20? That's good, 20 pounds. He's just all, they're all that perfect size, you know? They're. They're not small, but they're not big. 
Isn't that the coolest fish? Look at the colors on that thing. Look at that big eye. Better that, to see you that with. That is the neatest fish. I got you. Uh, Let me get that hook. I got the hook. That's a cool fish, ain't it? Look at that one. Oh boy. Tell him back. That big, that big wide tail is where he gets that power. Definitely. See you guys. <sighs> You are the man. Thank you. Let's get some more yeah. fish. Well, I guess old Bill and Peter were right. Catching these tarpon will definitely get you excited and want to join in on the action as soon as you can. Watching them explode out of that water and jump several times is a tremendous amount of fun and not something any angler will soon forget. Bill and Peter had so much fun that we're going to turn this into a two-part show. So be sure to tune in next time for the conclusion of the best of the best, as Bill and Captain Peter continue to catch these fun-sized acrobatic tarpon on light tackle in the Indian River here in Florida's Space Coast. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you again next time on Bill Dance Saltwater. We hope you've enjoyed Bill Dance Saltwater and learned that you can do this. Please join us right here again next week.